Hello everyone, welcome to the Programming Geek. In this video, I am going to show you how to get the visitor's IP address using PHP. So let's start. There are different ways. So the basic way for getting the visitor's IP address is dollar underscore server then remote address remote ADDR address this is the basic way but this server method is not accurate because sometimes it does not give the accurate IP address of the client so we have to implement a perfect way to get the real IP address of the visitors so let's start first we will write php there are different conditions first condition is let take the first check for IP address share internet or shared internet this condition is for let's consider the visitor is using the shared internet using router so first we have to check whether the visitor is using router so the, for this we have to get we will declare one variable IP then dollar underscore server these are server variables so we have to use dollar underscore server and then http underscore client underscore ip if the visitor is using shared internet so this will return the its real IP address we have to check it in a if condition so let's check if if not empty if not empty in this in empty it's this method server HTTP client IP we will check whether this variable server variable contains IP address if if the this very if this variable is not empty then place the IP address into I variable IP okay then else if else if another possibility is uh, visitor is using proxy server there is the possibility of using proxy server in between the client and the server so server that is web server so in this for this proxy server we have to get the use the another method to get the visitors IP so for this we have to use dollar IP against server the variable name is HTTP HTTP X underscore forward it forward it for forwarded for this will get the IP address of the client if the client is using or there is a proxy server between client and web server so this will return so again we have to check whether this is empty or not if not operator and then empty empty inside empty we will check this variable it's server variable 
and then else if the uh, client is not using shared internet or if the client uh, is not using proxy server let's check, check for ip address proxy server if both this that is http for shared internet and the http x forwarded for is uh, empty then the third option we have to use that is the normal way that i earlier said at uh, http remote address sorry remote address dollar ip dollar server and then remote address okay so we we have got the ip address of the client so now we will print it. echo dollar ip now let's check whether it works syntax and error on line 4 So I have given the semicolon. Semicolon not required here. On line eight. Else if else if empty. Sorry, IP. Okay. Here you can see I I using local web server, so it is showing local. I will show it in real time how it works. I am using here triple zero web host free web hosting for this to show the real time example how it works in a, on a real web server. I will log into file manager, FTP file manager, then go to public HTML index.php. I will copy the code here. and paste the domain name for this i have got uh, is skdownloads.com.uv.com here you can see this code that i placed on the real website of the 300 web host free web hosting and then i placed this code and then run from the web browser that is skdownload.com.uv.com and that let's check whether this is showing the right right ip address the tool online tool for getting the ip address of client is at ip ipchicken.com here you can see that that is the our tool as program has shown the right ip address 59.94.251. 201 that is the ip address so that code works this first we have to, we have check the for the whether the client is using uh, shared internet for that we have used http client ip then if the client is not using shared internet then other possibility is proxy server so else if http x forward forward it for if client is not using proxy server then we have use, we have to use third option that is the there is not accurate option but if both that if shared internet or proxy fails then we have to use remote address you can see it's it works so thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos thank you